And we are back. What is up everyone? I'm Nick. This is Swiftful Thinking and this is the video that probably did not need a video because today we're looking at the text selection modifier, which is new in iOS 15 uh, to Swift UI. And it's literally the easiest thing to ever to use. We add a dot text selection, we enable it, and the magic happens. The magic, of course, is that our users can then go and select the text in our app and they can copy it or they can share it with their friends. So it's really simple, but it's super powerful because if you have any kind of app where users are maybe chatting with other users or they're reading content, and if they wanna go and share some of the text that's in your app, this is the way to do it. It's literally one line of code and it gives so much power back to your users. So I'm hyped about it. I hope you guys are too. Let's take a look. All right. Hey guys, welcome back. This will be the easiest video in the playlist. I just want to throw it in there to let you guys know that it's here. It definitely did not need its own video, but at this point we already have enough videos in this playlist. What is adding one more? Let's create a new file. Let's make it a Swift UI view and let's call it text selection bootcamp. Click create. We're going to add literally nothing to this screen. It just says hello world. Let's get that connected here. And all we're going to add is a text selection and then we can either do enabled or disabled. Now all text by default is disabled unless we of course enable it. And all that really means is your users can then, when your app's running, they can click and hold on it and they get this little pop up here. It says copy or share. They can then share it to their friends or, or more often probably just copy it. This used to be a pretty difficult feature to add to your apps because you had to manage like the strings and how to copy it and how to display that sharing pop up. But this is really nice that we have it now. So that's pretty much the entire video here is just that we can take texts and make them selectable so that users can then copy those texts. I would expect that they add more features like this in the future where we can then also like copy images and we can copy maybe groups of texts and images. But right now I believe when you select a text, even if it's in a list, I think it's just going to pick the one item that the user has clicked on, the one text that the user is selecting. Uh, anyway, super cool feature because if you have like a chat app or something like that where users might want to like copy the messages and then maybe send them as a text to their friend or something, this is the perfect way to do it. All right, that was the easiest video in the playlist. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, I'm Nick. This is Swiffle Thinking and I'll see you in the next video.